Hey, this is Ari, and in this video, I want to share with you a little clip from a recent podcast I did with Dave Asprey, who is regarded as the father of biohacking, on optimizing your health, your energy, your mitochondria, and your longevity. Enjoy, and if you want to listen to the full-length episode, the link for that is down in the description below. Enjoy. The first one is one that I already mentioned. Uh, it's fixing your sleep. And I will tell you everything I know in the shortest possible time. Go to sleepwithdave.com. It is free. What's going on there is you can change the environment that you sleep in, that very definition of biohacking. And oftentimes it's very, very cheap things. Like most people don't know if you raise the, the head of your bed by six inches, so you're at a slight angle, that it totally changes the flow of fluids in your body at night so you can more effectively clean your brain with clean cerebral spinal fluid. That's a one-time purchase of two bricks. Like, we can all do this. There are multiple studies out of Germany um, that support raising the head of the bed. I don't know of any studies that support the foot of the bed. Okay. And you also look at the way our ancestors slept, and I do sleep on a very hard surface uh, the way they did, which improves uh, piezoelectric signaling in the body. Actually, you feel much better. For the first six weeks, you hate your life, and after that, everything is much better. But, uh, and that probably improves lymphatic circulation as well. All humans would sleep with their head uphill. Anyone who's gone backpacking, it, it's uncomfortable to sleep with their head downhill. Also, all animals do that. So given what I know about animals, because my sheep are free range on my property, they walk everywhere, they will eat exactly the one leaf of the herb that is anti-parasitic, because that's what they needed. And they know if they eat 20 leaves, it's gonna be bad for them. So we know intuitively how to best take care of our, of our biology. There's a reason that we wanna sleep with our heads slightly elevated. So I, given the studies I've seen and given, uh, given that evidence and just given what you see in the world around you, uh, I, I would elevate the head of the bed. And there is some interesting things about perhaps you ought to aim the head of your bed in alignment with one of the cardinal directions. And there's debates about that. I don't know about that. But I, so I don't talk about that in, in the Sleep with Dave uh, sleep challenge. But what I do also talk about is blacking out the room. There's a study that shows the amount of of light that comes around normal curtains in the average city is enough to increase depression by 69%. This is a study of 800. This was a, a men only study, but it's likely true in women as well. It's circadian disruption. So one of my companies is around circadian biology. It's called True Dark. We have patented or patent pending glasses that, that control way more than just blue light. But blacking out your room is dirt cheap. You just need good blackout curtains with Velcro or magnets around the edges so no light gets in and you tape over or unplug every LED of any color. And when you do that, magically, you get more sleep per hour. So I go through a long list of things like this. And yes, there's cool sleep trackers you can embed into your mattress that change the temperature of your mattress. You can change your thermostat. You can control when you eat. There's all kinds of cool stuff. The um, dimming the lights before bed or wearing the True Dark glasses, all those make a difference. But it's all cheap. And so that's only one of them. But man, if you fix your sleep, everything else is easier to do, including the next recommendation, which is intermittent fasting. And would you imagine fast with Dave? <laughs> we'll take you to the fasting challenge. Again, this is free. It's just a gift. And I wrote a book on fasting called Fast This Way, a New York Times bestseller. There's two kinds of fasting. Both of them appear terrifying if you've never fasted before. One of them is a performance working fast, and one of them is a spiritual fast. And when you do it right, you can fast and feel better during the day than you did when you had breakfast. You're not distracted by food. You have more energy, more focus, more time, because you didn't have to make time making breakfast, and you actually save money because you didn't have breakfast. And in that challenge I teach you, or in the book, I teach you three different hacks to make it so the first time you fast, you won't be hungry and you still get the benefits of fasting. And that's a, a major, a major thing to do. And also to face the fear that all animals have of starving to death. It's not a conscious fear. It's an unconscious fear and where that sits in the hierarchy of your body. Um, so there's our, our first two, um, sleep and intermittent fasting. And the third one, we go in a couple of different directions. You said for someone who's having brain fog or energy, it was a brain fog or fatigue. being tired all the time. Fatigue, fatigue. but brain fog over, overlaps with okay. people with chronic fatigue a lot. Yeah, man, having lived that chronic fatigue thing, it's it's really rough. Um, well, 
for chronic fatigue specifically, I, I was going to go into cold therapy. I've been recommending that for 10 years. Some new research that Huberman's talking about uh, mirrors almost exactly the, the recommendations that we just arrived at as a community from early studies. Mm -hmm. So uh, Susan Soderberg has done great work on that. Um, so I could talk about cold therapy, but people who are really tired all the time, they probably will benefit from cold therapy unless they're really blown out from an adrenal perspective. Then they're too tired. Cold therapy is too much of a stress and they should start with just getting their face cold instead of their whole body. Mm -hmm. And so there's protocols for that um, that, that I'm not going to get into because I think it's too specialized. The, um, the next one... Um, so then if we're not going to do that, would also be high intensity interval training. Except if you have really serious chronic fatigue, you're just exhausted all the time. You know what exercise does? It makes you tired. Like, and, and that's, that's what it's supposed to do. So there have been times when I'm like, okay, I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm right on the edge of some respiratory thing. Uh, and I'm working really hard and I just flew and yeah, I know I should go exercise, but I just feel like crap and it makes me feel worse when exercise not better. So what I'm going to suggest for people who are that blown out is you actually focus on recovery and sleep and nutrition. So my final thing, if, if I have someone who's really got cognitive dysfunction and fatigue is going to be have coffee in the morning only add butter, add MCT oil, and blend it. I've had multiple people over the years go off of ADD medications. Uh, and this is a major energy enhancer. It changes the way your body metabolizes caffeine. And I discovered uh, this recipe after I went to Tibet and I had yak butter tea at 18,000 feet elevation. I was still dealing with the lingering effects of chronic fatigue. And I drank blended tea and, and butter and I felt amazing when there was no oxygen in the air and it didn't make any sense. And I came back to Silicon Valley and I tried a thousand different recipes and figured out the mold free coffee and the MCT oil. But the idea of blending it, I funded research at the university of Washington that proved that droplets of butter and MCT oil in water and probably coffee because coffee is mostly water make, it changes the structure of the water so that your body can immediately use that water inside of cells. When you or I drink water, Ari, just a cup of water, your body has to distribute the water throughout the cells, hold the water near the cell membranes, which are made of fat, and heat the water with 1200 nanometer infrared light. That's body heat. <laughs> and after a little while, the water transforms its viscosity, how runny or thick it is, so that then we can use the water to make energy. When you blend even just a tiny bit of fat in the water for 20 seconds or in coffee, the coffee, the water in that, you can use it when you drink it. So now you're getting water that's immediately usable to make ATP, and you're getting instant energy from the MCT, which gives you keto energy, which is good for you, uh, and you get a bunch of other benefits. That fixes so many people. And if not, hit the smart drugs. You wanted to perform well right now? There are things that are gray market pharmaceuticals like aniracetam. There's the limitless drug I talked about earlier, modafinil. And you know what? Your job is to feel really good right now. What most people do is they suffer for two or three years when they're recovering. You don't have to suffer. You can feel good tomorrow while you recover your adrenals. And that's what I teach a lot of people on, on my podcast. Like, here's, here's all the techniques, the things you need to know. You have a right to feel good tomorrow. And if you're not feeling good, change what you're doing. You can recover and feel good. And my company, Upgrade Labs, where I'm putting most of my time right now, we're franchising across the country with facilities that have all the tech that let you recover faster than Mother Nature intended. Oh, and if you wanted muscles or cardio or brain upgrades, we've got those in very small amounts of time. Because frankly, lifting weights, picking up rocks is what we've done throughout all of human history, or running away from tigers or chasing deer. Those are the only two kinds of exercise we can do better with tech. So I'm using AI to guide your body to put on more muscle or to fix your cardiovascular system in way less time so you can spend the extra time fixing your brain. So you can go that deep if you want to, but seriously, use something that is from a plant or a pharmaceutical company that will make you feel like yourself right now. Hey, this is Ari. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. And if you want to listen to the full length podcast, the link for that is down in the description below. Also, one more thing before you go, I want to mention, in case you don't already know about it, our formula, Energenesis. This is an amazing product uh, that has multiple compounds in it that are scientifically proven in numerous studies to 
increase your energy levels, not just by, you know, 3% or 5% or 10% by, but by 30 or 40 or 50% in a very, very short time frame. So one of these compounds that I'll mention here is called NT factor phospholipid. And it is a, an extract of phospholipids that comes from lecithin. And they extract the pure phospholipids from this, things like phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylethanolamine, and many others. And these are the same uh, fatty acid compounds, phospholipid compounds, that compose our uh, cell membranes and mitochondrial membranes. And this specific patented formula has been shown actually to enter into the, the bloodstream uh, un, undigested, basically, without being broken down and denatured through the digestive process in the stomach and the intestines. It makes it into the bloodstream and actually makes it all the way to our cells and to our mitochondria where it helps repair damaged mitochondrial membranes and facilitates our mitochondria functioning better. Now, all of that sounds like wonderful theory, uh, and it sounds like it could be beneficial, but the real test is, has it actually been studied and been proven to increase your energy levels? And the answer is yes, absolutely. There are numerous studies uh, outlined in a wonderful paper by the scientist, a scientist named Garth Nicholson, uh, in a paper called Lipid Replacement Therapy. I highly recommend checking this out if you're interested in digging into the research. But this compound has been studied in the context of multiple different kinds of chronic fatigue. Uh, Aging-related chronic fatigue, obesity-related chronic fatigue, uh, obscure things like Gulf War illness, and numerous studies in chronic fatigue syndrome. And there are studies showing that this has the capability. They've taken one study, in fact, actually showed that in elderly adults over the age of 65, it restored their mitochondrial health, which had deteriorated uh, heavily. It restored it to the level of healthy 29-year-olds, believe it or not. And they've actually measured energy levels in these people. And all of these studies across the board show improvements in energy of at least 25% and typically more like 35 to 45% in just the span of between four to 12 weeks. That's how long all of these studies are, four to 12 weeks. They're showing dramatic, huge improvements in energy levels by helping to repair these mitochondrial membranes through this thing called lipid replacement therapy using, again, this patented form of a phospholipid extract called NT factor. This is just one of about 20 ingredients proven to benefit mitochondrial health that you'll find in my formula energenesis so i strongly encourage you if you are struggling with your energy levels if you're dealing with chronic fatigue go grab yourself a bottle or three of this or subscribe and save um, try it out you are going to be blown away by the results we get so many testimonials we get so many emails from people talking about how this one thing has transformed their lives. So I cannot encourage you strongly enough to give this a shot. And it, let's say you buy three bottles, um, try out the first one, give it a month. And if you don't notice significant improvements, you can return the unopened bottles to us for a full refund. So give it a shot. I really think you're going to be blown away by the results. The formula is called Energenesis, and you can get it at theenergyblueprint.com or click the link below. So... I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again very soon.